Hi there, this is a module on thoracoscopy today. We're going to do look at an overview of thoracoscopy. Initially, some theoretical aspects of thoracoscopy and then look at a step-by-step -step guide with videos of thoracoscopy performance. So let's at the theoretical aspects. First of all, the reason for the development of thoracoscopy is the investigation and management of pleural effusion, which as you know is a very, very common problem. Pleural effusions are going up in incidence over the years, partly because of malignant conditions such as mesothelioma, but also common conditions such as tuberculosis. And there is a need to get adequate samples to confirm the diagnosis and as confirm it as much as possible with a diagnostic yield of uh, nearly 100%. In the past, what we have done is pleural fluid cytology. Pleural fluid cytology is a poor test overall, especially for malignancy, but also for infections such as tuberculosis. In the very best studies on pleural fluid cytology, the diagnostic yield that has been achieved is no more than 50%. In fact, when it comes to malignancy such as mesothelioma, it has been well below 30%, which as you know, is disappointing. Pleural fluid, biops, uh, pleural fluid cytology is usually followed by biopsy. When you try and obtain biopsy, the commonest technique that is utilized is blind pleural biopsy using an Abrams needle. This is pretty good for diffuse pleural disease such as tuberculosis, but not good enough when there is patchy abnormalities in malignancy, especially in mesothelioma, where the diagnostic pickup rate of pleural fluid, pleural blind biopsy is less than 30%.